Hi everyone, Neil here. Thanks for watching. Um, first and foremost, this is not a professional method of installing a grey water system. You have well respected installers out there who will do an absolutely brilliant job at this. The intention here was really to see how cost effective we can do this um, in order to obviously save some water. Um, I will also go on to say that I was more than willing to pay for a professional installer had this not worked out. So to start things off, let's um, draw up a bit of a plan. Right, so what I've done here, all the red essentially are existing pipes. So we've got our outlet from my kitchen and the guest bathroom and then another bathroom at the back of the house here. The blue are pipes I'll have to put in for the irrigation. Um, and the red is my existing storage line and then the green lines are going to my irrigation system and the sprinklers and so forth. Right, so you've got your outlets running into a main pipe. I've chosen an 80 mil pipe over here, you'll see that later. Um, runs into a filter, from the filter into the tank and then overflow plugging back into my existing storage. Naturally your pump would suck from your tank and then push that out into your into your sprinkler system or your irrigation piping. From our plan we can see that we have a filter and we've got a tank. So we've taken a 160 litre drum to service our tank. The reason for that being I think fairly small is you do not want to keep grey water for longer than 24 hours um, due to it generating some odours and growing bacteria for any term longer. On the middle side here we've just got our outlets circled where we obviously want to tap into and on the far right just some close-ups of what that looks like. Later on you'll see that a 40 mil um, irrigation pipe fits quite nicely over those actual outlets. Um, trenches being dug, um, a lot of work um, big thanks to Patrick helping me out in that one. Uh, you want to meet the level of the outlets, which you can see over there now. And there you can see the 40 mil pipes fitting snugly onto those outlets. And I've used a 40 mil hole saw to drill pipes into the 80 mil to also connect it up. Over here we can see the 80 mil hole. I've used a jigsaw for that to hook up to our main main pipe. And the 40 mil going out to the tank. We also have a few indications on the right hand side and the far right with our level probes and our suction hole. Alright guys, so, right guys, so what we have here, I just want to show you a demonstration of the, the pump full um, probes. So essentially what you want to do is we want to make sure that our pump is also probes. We've got three, we've got one long, medium and a very short one. So what we want to achieve is we want the pump to go on when the water reaches tank full, so the highest level, shorter spin. So how this works, it sends a little ping I would guess to the probes every now and then. And there's the connections. Um, it then goes through a little control switch called the TE, TE201 and there are many clever things you can set on this but I have to set it to empty the tank um, and because I'm going to run a pump it has to go through a contactor so for this test you'll hear when the contactor clicks in essentially the pump will go on and then off again so I'm going to test in the water of my swimming pool you can see we don't want it to activate when the water is at low in the tank All right. So no activation, no activation. There you can hear just clicked in. Now the water will drain. We don't want it to go off. We want it to go off at the at the medium probe. And there you can hear it just gone off. Great. So I'll show you how we're going to install that into our tank um, next. Let's talk through the wiring of the pump level probes quickly. There are a few components. You have your electronic um, com electronic controller, which we saw a little bit earlier, it's a little white box with a wiring diagram on it. Then we have our contactor. The purpose here is to really protect the pump against voltage spikes or dips. 
and then we've got our connector block into which our electronic controller plugs into. So let's break this down into two sections. We're going to talk about the main power coming in first and that power being fed out to the pump. And then after that we'll talk about how and where we're connecting up those level probes. Right, so if you see the black dots over here and here you can see that's your neutral line coming in from the mains and the neutral going into your, your um, contactor. You also have your live over there, it bridges to the next contact over there and in here the, con the electronic controller will essentially serve as a, as a switch and then goes out into your contactor over here. That's our live port, there's a neutral port and at the image just below you can see neutral going to the pump and live going to the pump. Right, so you might recall the numbers that we've seen on the electronic controller a little bit earlier. So I can't remember what the numbers are, but essentially your brown wire I've used as the um, the short probe, um, the, the the one over there essentially, and that one connects up on this number over here. Better to see it over here, number there. Your blues are medium. I can't remember the number it is. I think it might be six. Yeah, your yeah, brown was five. This is blues number six. Connects up there, and then the green wire being our uh, longest one. It connects up just below number six there and I think it's number seven that that one hooks up to and it's really as simple as that and and this connection is set for the tank to empty you can also set it in different ways but um, I haven't tried that and haven't worked with that effective filter method um, just some gravel and some mesh. It works well. You have to clean it once a week though. We've now hooked up our 20 mm irrigation pipe to our 40 mm as you saw a little bit earlier. And on this screen you'll see um, that this patch of drying as you see over here is what I'm trying to really cure and save. Um, on the right hand side you'll see we've I've taken a recent image uh, about four months after after this was done the installation and you can see the the, the grass actually um, covering quite nicely there now. Um, when the question of sprinklers come up your normal little um, small ones with small nozzles will clog up so what I recommend and what I found working over the last four months um, is our pop-up over here which is in a large image over here um, as well as as this little one over here uh, for this one with the gray the, the gray top you want to unscrew it and just remove the filter once you've done that it should be fine and this actually gives you quite decent coverage as well Guys, this really brings us to the end of my, my little video and project. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, just an update. So, on the top left you'll see that I've made some modifications to my setup in the last couple of months. Um, I've added two taps. Um, this one goes out to my front yard. And this one is as per this video going to my backyard as you know. Um, the drum over there really is nothing. It's just the housing um, for my probes to go into my tank. So if you were to open that lid, you'll just see the tank at the bottom of it. Um, and here are some case studies, if you will, from my backyard. Um, you can see the plants growing nicely. You can see a little copper pipe hooked up to my irrigation as well. Um, some evidence there. And you can see over here even some plants enjoying their nutrition from from this water. Some stats. Um, it's cost me less than 4,000 Rand for everything. I have, however, bought a second-hand pump. Um, it's been running for about 240 days now. And if you assume um, it runs once a day and you assume it uses 100 liters of water at a time, then you're sitting with a stat of in excess of 24 kiloliters of water that was saved during this time and that is really a modest approach to the number sometimes this thing runs three times a day thank you for watching i really hope i've inspired you and i hope you come around with your own project